Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. And this is the week of October 11th, 2021. And this week we get four topics. The first one is kind of a big one. This has to do with the blue SUAS program. There's a version 2.0 in the works. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about a bird being rescued with a drone. This is actually a pretty cool story. Uh, an interesting story, a drug loaded drone that lands on a police car. Just can't make this stuff up. And then lastly, something from DJI. Good things come in threes apparently for DJI in the next couple of months. So let's get to it. Okay, the first story this week is the Blue SUAS program. This is something that was set up by the government in order to help promote American manufacturing for SUAS. As a matter of fact, I should say to promote non-Chinese manufacturing of UAS. The bottom line is this is what it is, okay? So they had to prove a certain number of um, drones to fall under the SUAS program that did not contain parts from Chinese manufacturers. And then now they're rolling version 2.0. They just announced that they are selecting 11 new vendors that include some more uh, well-known names such as Sensefly, uh, Skydio, uh, Harris Aerial, and also Wingtra. And the goal here is to try to further expand the U.S. government's ability to use S or to obtain SUAS that can accomplish the missions. We've been critical about this because um, in the past, a lot of these SUAS did not measure up to the standards that previous drones were providing, including drones from DJI. And uh, it looks like now with these new vendors, the U.S. government is going to have the ability to do a lot more different things with different types of drone. This is not limited to small drones that are designed for the U.S. military only. This looks like they're starting to expand, including doing mapping and, uh, and other missions that couldn't be done before with the previous generation of S Blue, uh, S <laughs> Blue SUAS. So hopefully we see version 2.0 being able to provide drones. The biggest issue that we've seen in the past was manufacturing, being able to provide these drones to replace the drones that were uh, turned down by using different si uh, sorts of memos and regulation that prevented the US government from using DJI. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely be reporting on this when we hear more. Next story this week is a bird in Peru. This happened in Peru. A bird that was uh, tangled in a string and that was attached to an electrical wire. And so the police actually attached a razor blade to what looks like either a Mavic Mini or Mini 2 and were able to cut out the string. The bird fell down on a nearby roof and then they were able to capture it and then put it in a rehab center for wildlife in order to get it back uh, up in the air. So that was really cool. You can see the video playing in here. Uh, again, this this is just another great one of these uh, drones for good stories and uh, infinite use of drones for good. That's awesome. Another really interesting story, surprisingly not coming from Florida, but close enough. This is in Georgia. And uh, a man is facing charges after being, well, being found near a prison. So here goes the story. This guy is being reported as being suspicious because he's operating or he's walking or being near a prison. So the prison guards reported to the police and then the police goes and finds out this guy and then they notice that as they're interrogating him the a drone a large drone Matrice 600 comes back and lands right on top of their car where they were standing and waiting to interrogate this guy and they find on the drone a whole bunch of contraband. So what looks like happened is that this Matrice came back into RTH mode because, well, because he wasn't flying it anymore, something happened, probably low battery RTH. And then the drone came back, it had drugs, cell phones, it looked like either cigarette lighters or USB plugs, can't really tell, and a whole bunch of other contraband, including alcohol, I think. And uh, just, you just can't make this, st this stuff up. So uh, as always, don't be that guy. Don't go dropping stuff. I know this is a big issue. A lot of uh, police departments are talking about the fact that uh, there's a lot of contraband that's being dropped from drones. All right, last story this week comes from DJI. And uh, this is a post from our friends at Drone Excel with Haya. And uh, they're reporting that there is more than likely gonna be three different products released between October, at the end of October and the beginning of November. That's huge. That's a, a lot of releases in a very short amount of time. The first one being a DJI Osmo around October 20th, which is right around the corner. A DJI Action 2, which is the Osmo Action 2 that we had in the past, uh, or the Osmo Action that is not only called the Action 2, uh, a week later on October 27th. And finally, the Mavic 3, supposed to be November 5th. So 
three big products from DJI. One of them is really interesting to us being the, the Mavic 3. So we'll keep you posted. And when we have more information, hopefully maybe next week we can bring Hai on the show again and talk about this. So um, in the meantime, that's it. Like, subscribe, do everything that you do. Leave your comments as always every week. We love interacting with you guys every Friday. That's kind of my thing. You guys watch me and then I actually watch your comments and respond uh, as I drink my coffee and start my morning. So uh, really exciting. That's all I have. I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.